In this video, I thought we'd switch things up a little bit and talk about jQuery effects. And there are many different types of jQuery effects. And the three methods that we're going to look at in this video are fade in, fade out, and fade to. Three very useful jQuery methods that will give you some neat effects. And the first one we're going to look at is the fade in method. And that's exactly what it is. It just fades an element in. And there are three settings that you can use for all three of these methods, by the way. You can use the two keywords, slow and fast, and that's exactly what they will do. It'll fade it in slow, or it'll fade it in fast, or you can specify specific milliseconds. We're going to just specify specific milliseconds, but you can play around with these two keywords if you want. And here we're specifying 2500 milliseconds. Now, if you want to increase this number, the element obviously will take longer to fade in. Now, in order to fade this in, we need to have something that's hidden or at half opacity. In this case, I just hid our third section here, and I use the hidden keyword. You just enter that into the element that you want to hide, and it will be hidden. And so, of course, we don't see our third section. But we will in a minute because we're going to fade it in. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll save this. We'll refresh our page. We hit our button, and it fades in very nicely 2,500 milliseconds later. All right, so let's go ahead and save this as an example for you. Now let's go ahead and fade out our center section here. So we'll just switch our selector to pound center. And we'll just use the fade out method, of course. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. And there you can see our center section fades out. Now you can also go ahead and chain these methods. And that's actually kind of an interesting effect. So let's actually switch back to our third section. And we'll just go ahead and put in our fade in method. And so we'll first fade it in and then we'll fade it out. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you can see we have this nice effect where it fades in and then it fades out. So again, chaining methods, which we talked about a few videos ago, is very, very useful. Now there is also the fade to method. And what that does, and let's actually scroll down here a little bit. It actually allows you to set the opacity setting to a specific setting that you want. And the values are between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. 1.0 obviously at full opacity and 0.0, .0 will essentially hide the element. So I'll just copy and paste what I have right here. And we need that semicolon. And we have an extra dot. Whoops, let's get rid of that. Okay, so here's the fade to method, of course. And there are two values that we need to set. First, we put in the milliseconds that we want in terms of how long we want the effect to take place. And then, of course, here is the opacity setting. So we'll set this at the halfway mark. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see we have our third element at half opacity. So that's how these three effects work. Go ahead and play around with them a little bit. Maybe use these keywords, see how these work. And that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.